What up YouTube, your boy The Flying Spanner here. Today we have a model unboxing. Uh, we're gonna have a couple unboxings coming in the time because I'm getting another package tomorrow. Uh, today is Thursday the 14th. Um, just want to apologize for all the background. I haven't put the airport away. In fact, I haven't really put anything, I haven't touched it really since the airport update. Apart from there's loads of stuff now on it, which I need to have a little tidy up. But getting into this video, so, there are three models in this box, if it is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, this has come from Hong Kong, or China, I can't remember which one, uh, from eBay seller Johan Chan. His link is in my channel, um, my channel description, my, on, on the channel homepage somewhere. Uh, there's a few links, there's Aircraft Model Store, there's Johan Chan and there's Demografo, who are my three main uh, model suppliers. So, what I didn't realise before I get into it is Yo, the seller Johan Chen is actually, from what I've heard anyway, the owner of JC Wings, which makes sense. So it's Johan Chan Wings. So he's kind of named it after himself. So, getting into this box. So I ordered this and I think it was dispatched on either the 4th or the 5th of January. And it's only taken, what, 10 days to get here. Which I think goes to show beforehand, you could have stuff coming from China or where like Hong Kong, and it could take it was taking weeks, maybe even months, uh, to get here. So in this box we have taking it all out. We've got these little bubble wraps, which are kind of cool. No, that didn't do what I was expecting. Boom. Sorry, I, I, I find that oddly satisfying for some reason. I'm trying to work out what the hell these are. So of course they're little vacuum things. But why do I feel like you put it and the air comes out? It doesn't quite work. Right, I'll put them to the side, over into this handy little storage box. So in here we have, they're all JC Wings models by the way. Uh, the JC Wings Air New Zealand A320. Neo, don't know why I kind of pause there. Air New Zealand A320 Neo. Uh, so this one's going to be for the Oz Airport. And it just goes to show I haven't forgot about my Australian airport because there's loads of models coming for it. I just need to pull my finger out and make this blooming terminal. So, also in the box is a model that has been produced before by I think Phoenix. Uh, it's now been updated with all the latest technology. Uh, you may be able to already be able to tell what it is um, poking out, you can kind of see the tail. But I really wanted this livery, I don't know why. I'm not really a massive NFL fan, but if I do follow an NFL team, it's this one. So why why wouldn't you want a some for some version of it? And also, it does kind of look cool. So in here, we have the brand new JC Wings uh, Boeing 747-8 uh, freighter, of course. Uh, it's, a, of course, a Boeing aircraft. It just has the Seattle Seahawks livery on it. Uh, the logo is kind of like the mascot jet kind of thing uh, for it. So we'll be getting into that one uh, after the Air New Zealand. And then I've just got another one of their models, uh, which I will be selling. So if you're interested in it, please let me know and I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Just please keep in mind, uh, this is like the EastJet Austria. These models aren't yet available in the U with UK retailers, I don't think, uh, which I think is always special. Uh, it's always a nice thing when you get direct from um, the distributor itself. It's, it's not actually available yet, so please keep that in mind when giving your offers. So, I'm gonna lower the camera. And then add a bit of zoom in there. All right, getting into it. So we have the lovely Air New Zealand box. So it's in the normal livery. So the A321, I've got the all blacks. Uh, the normal livery is basically just the white front with the um, the New Zealand fern. I think that's what it is on the back. Um, looks very nice. The box is awesome. So it's an all black box with A320neo, the Air New Zealand kind of wind logo. Uh, they're of course 
logo anyway, the whole thing's a logo. Picture of the plane, 1 to 400 scale die cast model aircraft on the side. So there's two options, so there's this one and maybe another one, which I'm going to presume would be an all black delivery of the A320. Standard box, very nice, very efficient, very small. So this is why I like J3 Wings boxes like this one, not like the big blooming orange one. Because if they made the EasyJet 320 in this size box, it could go anywhere to be stored. Rather than big mahoosive boxes, you have massive plastic things, which is just annoying. So, while we're out of the box, out of the cradle, put you to the side, and then I can put you back into your box. So, going on to the model, let me line myself down again. So, looking at the model, uh, we have the, so they're a Star Alliance member, so there's a Star Alliance star at the front, uh, just before the L1 door. Got lovely detail on the doors, um, I've zoomed in on the camera, so you should be able to see it all. Uh, we've got the Air New Zealand titles of course, and the A320 really suits this livery. Uh, it really makes a nice stand with the the black um, kind of the black half being after the wing. Uh, it just really flows well and looks really good in my opinion. So then, blown up. We've got loads of little details on there, all your static ports and all the good stuff. And I understand it's not it doesn't like close ups, does it? This camera. So yeah, very nicely detailed. I think it's gonna be easy to zoom in there. That's kind of the sweet spot. Very nice detail, we've got the engine cowlings and some little uh, warnings and all the, all the bits on there. Got the winglets are coloured black with the kind of the wind logo. Uh, the back, the fern, very crisp. The registration which is Z, uh, Z, Zulu Kilo dash November Hotel Alpha. And then the tail which is nice. Up to the underside. There is a stand hole, which I know NG wing NG models, I don't think they do stand holes. Uh, and the underbelly is very nicely detailed. Uh, the cargo doors done in the white. You can't really see a lot of it because it is the black detail, but it's it's good. I'd fully recommend it if you have got like an Australian airport or a New Zealand airport, of course. Uh, Australian airport, you'd probably want this. Looks very nice. Uh, and yeah, let's move on to the main surprise, which is the Seattle Seahawks. So, speak of the devils, we've got the massive orange box, because this is a big old plane. Uh, so, very boring as well, that's why I prefer the little one. So it's got a picture of the plane, uh, the registration, which is November 841 Bravo Alpha. It's orange, it's very orange. Although, this is the best part. Light up. There's a random piece of cardboard which I think lives under there. I don't quite know why that fell out. I can go back in. So, another good feature of this model is it's part of, of course, Gemini have done it. JC Wings have now done it because I think they're very similar mould wise. It is interactive. So, if I remove that, you also get, with, with these orange ones, a little card which gives you specifications and a little picture of the plane. I, f I feel like that would be good if you had it in a display cabinet. For some reason, you'd put a, a card out telling you what it is in front of it, even though you'd be able to see anyway. Let's put that to the side. Let's get this baby out the cradle. So, this is my first uh, 747 Interactive. So... It's a bit of a learning curve for me. How does this go together? You'd hope I'd know, but who knows? Um, I'm due to get the Gemini UPS. Right, we're all together. So let's do a bit of an overview. So, very nice looking. I was kind of expecting it to clip in a bit more, but I think they kind of do. Uh, all the interactive bits. Very, very nice looking aircraft, I will say. So, starting at the nose. 
Uh, of course, it's got the removable nose cone, as you can tell. The Sim 4 looks very weird without a nose cone on, so let's put that back in there. Uh, once again, I haven't kind of slacked on the details, still got your static probes, uh, your little freighter hold at the top, uh, your emergency escape hatch, along with the Seattle Seahawks, uh, the title logo kind of thing at the start. And then if you go back, you've got the kind of falcon that they have on their jerseys and to the side engines of grey it's a very basic aircraft really when you think of it so grey engines kind of like Lufthansa uh, the wings are very nice I do like the 748 for its wings the gear does roll and pivot so we can have a nice little landing configuration like so I need to kind of stop moving it around maybe I should move the camera instead of the plane so on the back for the rear cargo door, which of course you can change, slip and slide for one that opens. Uh, you have the In It To Win It logo and along with the Boeing logo and the very nice tail, which is kind of the Seahawks. I think it's... The number 12 is something significant, because I think it's like um, when you're at the stadium, it feels like there's a 12th member because the crowd and the support's so big. So I believe that's why it's a number 12. It's something along them lines. Um, don't quote me on it. If you know your American football, please inform me if I am wrong. Uh, I'm no expert. So the engines on this are the same as the 2E78. So they're the Gen X's. So that's kind of the one thing that made it a uh, nice seller. So if we go underneath, you can't see because I've moved it out of shot as I usually do. Going underneath... You can tell the cargo doors are there, but to be honest, they do blend in quite well, which is quite surprising because then they do remove. Um, they're kind of as obvious as you'd want them to be. Uh, there's not too much going on. Of course, you've got your Ram Air doors and your gear doors are modelled along with beacons and outflow valves, etc, etc. The wing's quite a weird colour paint. So looking at it here, it's, it's kind of like a, a purpley grey. Don't quite know how to explain it. But yeah, that pretty much sums up the Model unboxing. Once again, if you are interested in this model, please let me know. Please send me a uh, direct message on YouTube. I'll try and figure out how to reply. Or preferably hit my Instagram up, which is the underscore flying, but without the I, underscore spanner. Which is also in the description if you want to go hit that up on Instagram. Please hit me a DM if you'd be interested in purchasing this model. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, have a very good day. Adios and goodbye.